Druva, the leader in cloud data protection, helps protect your most valuable asset, your data. Today, we're going to show you the industry-leading SaaS platform for data protection, the Druva Cloud Platform, powered by AWS. Radically improve your data center backup strategy by replacing your legacy on-premises solution. Druva Cloud Platform is infinitely scalable, resilient against ransomware, and significantly lower in cost than on-premises legacy options. Save up to 50% on your TCO by eliminating unnecessary hardware, software, and operational costs. Druva Backup is delivered as a service, giving you automation, savings, and new capabilities for DR, analytics, and security. Druva has top-level security and compliance features to keep your data safe and uses industry-standard envelope encryption, which means every customer has their own unique encryption key, and Druva does not have any access to those keys or any customer data. Additionally, you'll have complete control of where your data is stored. With support for 14 plus AWS regions, you can meet compliance requirements for data residency and keep the data closer to you for better performance. The Druva Cloud Platform shown here provides you with a single pane of glass to monitor data protection across your entire organization, from endpoints to the data center to cloud services and applications. Let's dive into how to back up your data center workloads to the cloud. You can simply click on the Druva icon and select Phoenix. From a single pane of glass, you get at-a-glance dashboards for global visibility and the ability to see and access data at individual location and organizational levels. Druva utilizes the power of the cloud to deliver a high-performance backup and deduplication engine that lies at the heart of its performance and efficiency. Fast and centralized management of backup metadata using AWS DynamoDB allows Druva to achieve better deduplication across workloads and to perform this deduplication at the source before transmitting any data to the cloud. When combined with incremental forever technology, the data transfer is much smaller than most customers expect. With deduplication across workloads, your initial backup may be smaller. A one terabyte server on premises might only need to transfer 500 gigabytes or even less on the initial full backup. After that, it is just incremental forever, just the Delta, only data which is changed from backup point to backup point. Typical daily changes rates are two to 3% so that one terabyte server data to be backed up would be 20 gigabytes or less after compression and deduplication. The backups are very fast and require minimal bandwidth usage. As you can see, the initial full backup was 6.63 terabytes, and with changes, it would require about 13 terabytes without global deduplication. With deduplication, we have only transferred and stored 4.2 terabytes, which saves not only network bandwidth, but also cost, since customers only pay for the storage in use. In comparison with your on-premises backup solution, you buy storage that you expect to need today plus spare capacity to accommodate data growth for three to five years. For example, to protect seven terabytes of data you have today, you would purchase at least two to three times the original source capacity upfront to accommodate growth, data retention, and performance needs. One hidden gotcha here is stranded capacity. Because storage performance usually declines as the array gets full, Customers have to purchase additional storage before they've reached 70% utilization on their existing storage. In this example, the 30% is the stranded capacity that you've purchased but will never use because you'll always be upgrading before your storage is full. With Druva, storage, cost, and management inefficiencies disappear. To dive into the architecture, let's look at San Diego Org. Here you can see architecture diagrams, which shows the workloads covered file servers, VMs, both VMware and Hyper-V, Microsoft SQL, Oracle, and NAS. With VMware, for example, you deploy a lightweight Linux proxy. This is not a repository, but just a proxy. It's less than 100 gigabytes storage, six gigabytes of RAM. This authenticates your VMware environment to your Druva Cloud instance. Let's walk through configuration. Download OVA, deploy, copying the activation token and pasting it into the proxy to authenticate. Click on vCenter and you'll see all the VMs that are listed and ready for configuration. Now you choose your storage region, admin group, and backup policy. The policy is where you dictate the max bandwidth to allocate to backups, 
the retention period, and backup frequency. Druva also supports automated configuration of VMs based on tags, VM folder, ESX host, or data store allowing you to further automate backup. For data retention, you can choose for how long and how many points in time you want to hold that data for, how many daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly backup points. Druva offers a long-term retention option, and when enabled, it will automatically move data from Amazon S3 into the AWS Glacier Deep Archive storage tier after two weeks. The data movement happens transparently in the Druva Cloud platform, so there's nothing to manage and no hidden fees for data movement once LTR is enabled. Customers get an additional 30% storage saving on data stored with LTR. It's our way of passing lower cost storage savings on to you. This capability lets customers meet long-term compliance and retention needs with less effort and cost versus traditional methods such as disk or tape. Now you're done. The backups will run automatically as you specified in the policy. With your backup data in the Druva Cloud, you can do so much more. For example, improving your business resilience with disaster recovery as a service. Whether you're just putting DR in place or eliminating hardware at secondary sites, you'll find value in this feature. Just like we deployed a proxy on-premises that authenticates vCenter and sends the change blocks to the cloud, you can deploy a proxy to your own AWS VPC and have an orchestrated DR failover directly into the cloud and have VMs up and running in minutes. The advantage of this model compared to the on-premises strategy is you only have to pay for compute capacity in the event of a disaster, rather than investing in spare hardware and software that sits idle until a disaster occurs. This brings all the benefits of cloud computing to your fingertips, elasticity, scalability, and only paying for the resources you need when you need them. Of course, you don't have to fail over into the cloud. You can bring the data down to the original data center or any other data center. Druva is flexible. We integrate easily with your ever-changing IT stack. To learn more, get a personal demo, or a free trial, please contact sales at druva.com.